guys, it's Lady Luna. Welcome to your Glam Squad for this week. Um, we're doing flower looks uh, to kind of welcome in spring. And as you can see on this side of my face, I have already started a look. You can see that. And this look is based off of the flower called the fuchsia flower, which um, it's not as popular of a flower as I would think. A lot of people haven't heard of it, but it's one of my favorites ever. And to see my um, inspiration picture, uh, look in the link in the description below because it's a really pretty, very brightly colored flower. Now before I start this, um, I should say uh, I usually don't do um, talky kind of tutorials, but I feel like um, I'm going to do them more often. So if you guys if you guys like me doing that as opposed to just the, the kind of um, sped up type of videos, then let me know. Um, and also, my nails might be kind of a distraction because I did them a little differently today. I was kind of inspired by the YouTuber named Olga K because she likes to get her nails done this way but with like the squared off kind of nails. But I figured I would just try it um, with my own little tiny stubby nails. <laughs> um, it's, she always gets her nails done um, like with all one color and then her ring finger on both hands is a different color really contrasting color so I um, I liked it so much I even did my toenails that way so um, I'm thinking of putting a tutorial like that on my beauty channel Lady Lunification 2 so if you guys want to see that soon uh, let me know as well um, I just wanted to say that because it you'd probably be like what is on her nails but yeah okay so to start out this look um, I'm using two kinds of Mika powders and I've used these before um, in other tutorials, I think. Um, this one is, uh, they're both from tkbtrading.com, but you can also get very similar shades at coastalscents.com. Um, this is a color called Be My Valentine, and it's very, very shimmery and very pigmented pink. Um, I don't have a really bright fuchsia color per se, like my phone. But this actually goes on very, very pink. It's hard to tell with this light, but it really works well. So what you're going to do is I have this little e.l.f. Uh, shader brush. And just going to get some on the brush. And cover your whole lid. What I had to do with this is kind of um, to get that high intensity, um, I had to just keep going over it a little bit. So it looks more like the flower, like that. So you just cover your whole lid. Uh, then the next thing you're going to want to do is get your purple. This part's really easy. It's basically just like creating a smoky eye with pink and purple. So you get your purple color with the same brush. And uh, you just kind of blend it. And it looks really intense at first, but if you blend it, it looks okay. You want to go up into the... A lot of people call this the socket. I kind of like calling it the socket because that's what it is. Okay, now I'm just taking my uh, e.l.f. black eyeliner and uh, just make sure it's really nice and sharpened because what you're doing kind of requires it to have a fine line. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of make a cat eye and just line the top. I'm not lining the bottom. And kind of just put the cat eye out there, make a little wing. And bring it back and kind of blend it into the lower area a little bit. Okay, so there's the wing, as you can see. And then the quality in the fuchsia flower that I really like is the little uh, things sticking out of the center. I don't really know what those are called. Um, but they're really cute. As you can see, I put them on this side right there. And so I'm going to put them on this side now kind of in the same direction you were going with the wing tips, just put like three little wisps and then put a bunch of dots like that and there you go that's the fuchsia look um, and of course put on some mascara, I'm using um, a really lengthening mascara because I feel like on this look it's it's more important to have the length of your lashes be kind of dramatic rather than the uh, volume of your lashes. Uh, 
And you, I don't think you need any mascara on the bottom because it makes it more of an innocent, dewy look, which is great for spring. So we're not done yet because I still have some blush, as you see on this side, that goes along with the look, and I also wanted to do lips. Uh, so this color is also from tkbtrading.com, but as you can see, it says it's not for eyes, um, which kind of bummed me out when I got it, but that means it will make a great blush because it's safe for cosmetic use, just not on the eyes. So, um, this is called Pearl Pink, if you didn't see that. Um, Mika powder is great because it doesn't irritate your skin, at least, I mean, I heard that some people have uh, an allergy to it, which would be really sad because I love it a lot, but for those of you who aren't allergic to it, it's natural and it's perfect for your skin. It doesn't have a whole bunch of preservatives and additives in it either. So I'm using my uh, little angle brush. So a lot of people make this mistake of putting their blush right on the apples of their cheeks and that can actually age you, I've found. So what I like to do now, not only to highlight my cheekbones but just like make my face look overall brighter, um, is you still smile and you just bring it down along the top, like the tippy top of your cheekbone. And this is just to highlight. You can still get a little bit on the edge of the apple of your cheek but not here. This is the bad area. So, right there. And you can blend it in with your fingers if you need to. As you can see, that, that automatically brightens my face a little bit. So the last thing we're gonna do is use a lip color that kind of ties in the whole look. So using the Mika powder, I know that's kind of the theme of this whole thing, but it's natural, like flowers, I guess. So, um, all I did was I took this same color, the pearl pink, and I used it as a lip color as well, because it's safe on the lips not the eyes. So um, all I did was take some petroleum jelly and mix it with the the um, pearl pink color, I almost forgot. And I have this really, really bright, light uh, lip color. All I'm going to do is use my pinky finger and it glides on nicely. It's very, as you can see, it's very pigmented so you only need a little bit that you spread out. And as you can see, that kind of reflects the whole look now. It kind of reflects all the pink and purple and stuff. So, all right, guys, that's my fuchsia look. I hope you liked it. Um, feel free to comment and tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial about my nails on my main channel uh, or my main beauty channel. And if you like me talking through my, my tutorials rather than doing a sped up um, kind of portrayal of what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!